brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the cabin. Oh, one more minute. Just just one more minute. Let me close my eyes for one more minute, and then and we'll get up and do this. Okay. I'll wake you in a minute. Thank you. Morning. <sighs> Sorry, I tried to say that quiet. <gasps> mornings. Mornings. Mornings at the cabin. Wheeler and Ollie with you on your Monday morning. Uh, our last day on Earth, uh, which is... Uh, 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 there's some trepidation. You know how we agreed to do this whole uh, yes. walking straight into a yes. hole in the lake yes. and demonstrating how to get out? Yes. Uh, there's an extreme cold warning today. Yes, there is. Uh, getting down into the minus 55ers with the wind. So we have picked the best day to do this. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're going to be out there on Long Lake with JTFN uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're going through the ice, and then we're going to try to get out. I think they're just going to leave us there if we can't, so... You see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's always useful to have an incentive. Yeah. Which is what? Life? Yeah. 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 Continuing Just to not live. dying. Pow- powerful incentive. Often. Yeah, given what's swirling on around us, is that really an incentive? Oh, come now. Oh, nice. We can't we can't <laughs> descend into those depths this early on a Monday morning. I don't know. It's Monday. I haven't had my coffee yet. And if I know anything from KMAC, that means I'm a monster. I'm a monster right now. I see. That's right. Um, wonderful weekend. I hope you had a wonderful weekend as well. We checked out the music space yesterday. Go to the Facebook page to check out uh, the video. We did a live hit from there, and it was wonderful. The space looks awesome. And the scones were amazing. And and I, I'm sorry that we ratted you out, because our not fitness a, instructor did all. see the scone <laughs> being eaten, and he had words to say that evening. I worked it off last night. We definitely worked off a few cows last night. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Mornings at the cabin. Now with fifty percent more lector. Fifty? Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, you, you walked in, you're like, I'm sleepy. That's well, I was that's... watching Lord of the Rings until late. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh I yeah, was it was a slog. Lord of the Rings. Those those movies are long. Those movies are fantastic. They are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that was my Gandalf. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Do it again? Um I was watching Lord of the Rings. That's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. That's not, not you didn't think I'd miss your Uncle Bilbo's birthday. Okay. <laughs> the worrying thing is good. people people can't see your face, uh-huh. which is chilling. <laughs> it's as, chilling as I watch dead, you dead behind the eyes, pursed lips. Mm. Yeah, that is kind of half the Gandalf impression too. Yeah, he kind of has these weird like Ooh, smiles. Like, like, he's 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 kind of goes up and down a little bit. He's lilting a little bit. He's yeah. uh, he's wonderful. He is he such Ian, a great character. Ian McKellen, wonderful. What were we going to talk about before we start? Sunday? I <laughs> do not know. I tell you what, that is a better way to spend Sunday evening than than I found. Uh, I was I... filming on the ice road last oh. night, and it was nippy. It was. It is yeah. well, another extreme cold warning. Um, second in a week. Uh, it was overnight with the with the wind dipping into about the minus fifty five range. Yeah, we Not were great. We were getting out of the car, setting up the equipment, and then you'd be back in, like warm up, have a hot chocolate, back out of the car, get everybody standing where they need to stand, film for three or four minutes, back in the car, have a hot chocolate. What were you filming? Uh, filming, uh, helping out City Young Life. They're putting together a, a video package, and they needed a bit of help to oh, put right. a video together for the Smart Cities Challenge. So I basically nearly killed the mayor last night with sheer cold. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, she, and, we had a great time with her uh, yesterday at the music space. So Yeah. yeah. I was getting yeah. him to describe on camera sort of um, how just how cold it was, and yeah. Craig Scott from Ecology North was out there as well. And and he's sort of just laughing at the end, because it's kind of a throwaway question, just how yeah. cold is it? Oh, well, it's pretty cold. Yeah. Ollie, you look like you're getting some frostbite on your nose over there. Like, carry on filming. Press stop at the end. He's like, walks over. He's like, no, no, seriously. <laughs> you look like you're getting some frostbite on your nose. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and like went in the car. Yeah. So, so yeah, that that kind of that kind of warm. Are you looking at my nose? Yeah, I'm looking. at your I think nose. it's okay. I, it looks fine. I mean, it looks fine by its standards. Just, just go and look at it. Scott, Scott, yeah. Just, just, just yeah. Ollie, just a sec. Scott, Scott, his nose looks terrible. It's, it's not great. Should we tell him? No. Okay. All right. Ollie? Yes? Uh, did you have a good night last night? Yeah, it was great, thanks. Great. All right. Wonderful. And uh, Lecter and uh, and uh, his partner, Nicole, watched Lord of the Rings. They had a marathon yeah. all weekend. Nicole had never seen it. Really? Now she has? I mean, I, in fact, it took me like four years to get through the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I fell asleep at least like, I had three attempts where I fell asleep after like half an hour, 45 minutes. How right. dare and, all of you? And then eventually, like, managed to prop my eyelids open enough. Yeah. How dare all of you? They're the only. They're only. 
and uh, I'll get I'll get poop for this. They're the greatest <laughs> fantasy films ever made. Wow, that's right. We're including Star Wars in that. Yeah, yeah, we're including Star Wars in that. We're including every Star Wars ever in that. Yeah, you yeah. know the and I'm a Star Wars fan, but I will Lord, Lord, put Lord of the Rings above it for direction, scripting, uh, the CGI. Obviously, it's a little bit more advanced, but like storytelling, yeah, absolutely. Star Wars is garbage. You know what? Uh, Lord of the Rings, and I love Star Wars. One thing I actually found that I was not expecting watching them again because like I, I watched them, yeah, when they came out, and it, it's been a while since I watched the whole uh, trilogy. Mm-hmm. But one thing that kind of struck me was. Uh, how much technology has like CGI has improved even yeah. since 2001, 2002, 2003, mm-hmm. which is when those movies came out. There was a couple moments where I was like, mm, yep. oh yeah, not so sure that like, special effect age like, that well. 95% of it holds up incredibly well because yeah. they use model work. They use a lot of practical effects as well. Right. Um, but sometimes, yeah, there's a couple there's scenes a couple where like things are, there's a couple scenes where like uh, someone puts on the ring and they disappear, and it's like, well, that person wasn't in that that same place. <laughs> that was very obvious. Uh, yeah. But, well, I mean, even Gandalf part, fighting the uh, that the monster stop in the it. caves, the there. Balrog. Don't like, even. No, don't even. No. How effing dare you? <laughs> it stands up. You know what? Yeah. You it's, shall not pass. Another 15 years, and you're going to be like, hmm, maybe we need a new Lord of the Rings. Well, there is a new Lord of the Rings coming. Oh, it's really? A TV show. Oh, Hulu. I think it's Hulu. Wow. Drop, dropping a, a billion dollars to do uh, a TV show. Okay. I Lord of the Rings TV show. had so not heard about We're that. all going to have to watch it all over again. Do we need it? Yeah. Why do we need it? I don't know. The same okay. reason we need a new Beverly Hills Cup. We also don't need that. <laughs> I don't know. I will say, though, the for our marathon, the standout quote of the weekend. Yeah. What's going on over there? I'm just doing uh, Axel and F. In Peter Griffin. Yeah, maybe. Boys? Okay. Or Harold Faltmeyer. <laughs> uh, no, so, so yeah, like you said, Nicole had never seen them before. Yeah. Uh, her, her summary of the entire Lord of the Rings <laughs> trilogy. I want to hear it. Frodo, what an embarrassment of a main character. <laughs> what? Why? She hates Frodo. Oh, God. Oh, he is My pretty God. hard to like for a lot of that. He, he is, I he is disagree. Kind of terrible. I think it's, I think it's more of liking Elijah Wood. Than Frodo. No, I don't think she has any uh, any ill will towards Elijah Wood. <laughs> ill will. It's just uh, Frodo. <laughs> they don't have beef. They don't. No, they beef. Don't have beef. no beef. No beef. No beef. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, hmm. I mean, I, I, I think it was. I th- you know, I think the clincher was at the end when uh, when Pippin and or either Pippin or Mary, they're like, yeah, Frodo, he did it, and she's like, no, Sam. Sam did it. <laughs> Sam but carried makes, him up the mountain. That's what makes Sam such a great character because uh, he's right. the unsung hero. And then he goes back and he plants like flowers and he has his wife and he has his kids. I get, it gets me every time. I think it's time every he time. is sung. The thing is, though. Sing his hero. Frodo was the only one of them that could have carried the ring. He was the only one that could have carried the weight. He needed all his friends. Yes, he needed that fellowship, which uh, expanded you know within the first movie. But Sam is the hero, but Frodo's the only one that could have carried the weight. Sam carried it for a bit. Yeah, Took and he would have been corrupted. He would have ah. turned into another golem. He was fine. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Hey, it was early. What do you want from us? Ollie and I are embarking on what could be our very demise this afternoon. Uh, not to say that the JTFN won't be right there rescuing us out of the water. I'm just not sure my heart's going to take it. That's all. Have you it's got a hole cool. where your heart should be? I do have a hole where our heart should be, and in spite of myself... I'm a werewolf with Sweet Soul Music. Those are the next two songs. I tried. It didn't work out. Um, so we're going to be out there. So tell us a little bit more about what's going on today, Charlie. Uh, it's a pretty simple sked that we've got coming yeah. this afternoon. They're doing uh, cold water immersion training, which, you know, it just sounds sounds very benign. Yeah, a little cold water immersion training. Well, it's the immersion that gets me. Can yeah. we just dip a toe in or well, something? Yeah, immerse a toe. That seems fine. That's yeah. right. I'm immersing something. It's training. It's my toe. Uh, so... They conduct this with members of the reserves up here. Yep. And the idea is, yeah, you, you get a big rope attached to the back of you because they don't want you to just get in and sink. That's right. That's unfortunate. It is. So they pop a rope on you. You're just wearing normal clothes and you just stroll on in and just don't even don't even pay any attention to the great big hole in the ice. You just go straight through and then a couple of people are there to try and help you and you've got to try and get out. Here is the thing that got me this morning. You say normal clothes. Like I was kind of picturing that we get out there, I, I you know, bring in uh, bring some grubbies cuz they're going to get they're going to get wet. But I figured they'd give us like a coat. 
<laughs> or something like what? That. something to kind of protect us a little bit. And they they may well do that, but in other words, like what you would probably be normally wearing on I the suppose. ice. Yeah, so yeah. so yeah, we might get given other stuff. We might be wearing our own, but like yeah, coats, sort of ski pants, okay. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, like the usual pretty Accoutre heavy them. outdoor gear. Yeah, okay. that you'd be wearing. So I should I should grab my snow pants. And yeah, my, and my big boots. My big boots and uh, other stuff. Is that a JTFN branded onesie? Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be great. Little butt flap and you butt know. flap mankini mankini. <laughs> yes. Um, I've never like I've I've I like we've talked to the uh, we've talked about this a little bit and I've gone through the ice up into like my belly, and then got immediately out and into a warm car. So it doesn't really count. <laughs> uh, this is going to be very different. I am excited. Um, Phoenix is terrified, which is funny. Uh, not funny. <laughs> I mean, I you know I, I do my best to assuage uh, assuage her fears, but she's just like, okay, you go do that. I'm you know a little worried about it. I was like, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. There's gonna be experts there. There's gonna be we're gonna be attached to a rope. There's gonna be a couple of divers. They're gonna haul us out of there right quick. <laughs> this- but if it is our last night together, say what you need to say. <laughs> and what did she say? Uh, she went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this. When we air it as the obituary show, yes, I think this is going to be about the moment that most people start to feel a little awkward. Ooh, what song are we going to pick for the montage? You got to, you better switch out. I got a hole where my heart should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we got some big sugar. Better get used to it coming up. So that would be a good. That'd one. be okay. Better yeah. get used to it. He's dead. Ooh, ice, ice, ooh. baby. Oh, oh. God. Yeah. All right. No, I mean, okay. Like, I'll, I'll say this right now. If I do die, or if Ollie dies, we will, I will, because we've signed a release. No one's going to be at fault except us. Oh, you're fine then. That's right. We've signed a release. Um, but I will request, uh, I'll, I'll think about it today. I'm going to request a song that you do for the montage. Uh, it's probably going to be Dust on the Bottle. Okay. Or All Star by Smash. All Star. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be one of those two songs to play in the montage that you will inevitably put up on Facebook, but also play at the celebration of my life, mm. uh, where everybody gets to air their grievances. I do want people to air their grievances at my celebration. Okay, can I can I book a forty five minute slot? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bullet points only, Ollie. Let's not get into deep I've, descriptions of how hi, we everyone. feel. Uh, just uh, fiddly with the HDMI cable. I brought a PowerPoint, uh, there we so are. I'll just uh, attract your attention <laughs> to the screens. <laughs> Okay, slide one, uh, 2016 grievances. <laughs> we met in 2015. All right, so it goes back. It has to go back at least that far. So, right. uh, uh, Lecter, will you take care of that? Yep. Thank I'll uh, intro it with uh, Ice Cube. It was a good day. Yeah, there we go. It was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> until the death. Until, until oh, the I death. Thought you it was you... a good day. Oh, oh, I, and then it oh I thought you were really taking the pee out of me there. Well, I'll let you uh, interpret that how you will. <laughs> I'm not going to interpret it well. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast where we cut out all the great music and you're left with the rest. The liquor store, your one-stop shop for cannabis and liquor, also will now feature condoms. Ollie? Well, if you fell in love with a girl, then that would be the place to go, wouldn't it? Or a guy. Or someone else. Whoever. Use condoms. Um, Yeah, those white white stripes and and they're sadly very mono. (laughs) What? Didn't and age well. Eh? Funnily, funnily enough, you can get white striped condoms. Oh, really? Not white stripes condoms, like endorsed by Jack White, but like ah. condoms with stripes on them. White stripes condoms, oh. if a Seven Nation Army couldn't hold you down. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I will not play this game again. <laughs> I picture like a candy cane theme. That's right. Yeah? Yeah, just That's like, like the hardest like, button to button. They had the, like, the, yeah. uh, the design on the uh, drum kit there. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's just better than your average condom. Just I boring. Just, I just don't know how I'd feel if I was in a relationship with somebody and they pulled out one of those. I just don't know how I'd feel. Well, well, Ollie, when you're in a relationship, you don't have to use condoms anymore. So um, uh, this whoa, coming week, okay. shoppers Time and stars out. will be Time out. <laughs> Time out. Time out. No, it, this you is, know what? You know <laughs> just how utterly <laughs> irresponsible that last sentence was. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. There are there are people listening who need to hear you in your position of authority. Roll that back. That's right. You authority? have authority. Oh yeah. Wear condoms even when you're not having sex. This coming week, shoppers at Much store, better. Right, the liquor stores will begin to see <laughs> awareness packages from the All Knife Association for Community Living featuring condoms and pregnancy tests. That's that. That's a bit odd. 
Well, it implies a lack of faith in the condom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here are some <laughs> condoms. We haven't tested them. Here is a pregnancy test just in case something goes amiss. Um, but I, I, I guess, I mean, it's now a one-stop shop for everything. I mean, you got, your, you got your liquor, you got your cannabis, you have your condoms. Will you have THC lubricants? That is something that is a very real thing and apparently makes sex that much better. Uh, I imagine not. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a wild limb. I'm going to have a wild throw of the dice, stab in the dark, and say, no, I don't think the territorial government-run liquor stores are going to have that. Could be wrong. Hell in a handbasket, Ollie. Hell in a handbasket's a slippery slope, right? I mean, you... you well, well it will be if, 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 if you it's have the covered product. in THC yeah, exactly. lube. Yeah, that's going to be quite a slippery, slippery slope. slope. Yeah. Uh, so the association is hoping to promote, like, you know, healthy pregnancy by educating people about the risks of cannabis and alcohol to moms-to-be. Um... Interesting. Obviously, alcohol, we know very, very well what the effects of alcohol are on, on pregnant ladies. We don't know as much about cannabis with uh, pregnancies. Well, what we're going to do, and, and I'm, I'm really behind this campaign, uh, the territorial government, as far as I'm aware, is coming out with augmented reality condoms. Oh, and <sighs> it's going to be great. Just yeah, no, you get your take phone. out your cell phone. Okay, and then, get, get it on. And then there some, you go. And then something appears, and, and the kids load. And then... Yeah, and it's just going to be a picture of someone's face going, Are you wearing me? Great! Creepy baby takes creepy on a whole new, uh, oh, a whole new position of no, authority. Stony there. the Anuksha uh, all over my condom. Just like, hey, bud. Isn't glad, it, glad you put me on. Isn't it interesting, this changing world we live in, where yeah. a liquor store used to be just a place you went and bought liquor. Right. You now can bring your kids. Now, now you can't whole, even bring your kids. That's a whole educational experience. Absolutely. It's, Get in uh, there. I like it. Grab a six pack. Grab an eighth. Grab some condoms. And have a great time. Grab some education. That's right. Go Grab home. some education. Buy the condom. Full. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting time to be alive. That's right. It is an interesting time to be alive, especially if they would be augmented reality. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. How much fun would that be? That would certainly attract. I mean, enough attention was attracted by the initial augmented reality campaign. That's right. There's been a lot written about that. Uh, this would certainly... I, th- I think you could get on the front page of a lot of newspapers. That's right. With I think augmented Huff, reality. I, I mm-hmm. Huff Poe would have something to say about that. Augmented reality condoms. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be amazing. Hold your phone over. I mean, it's just the, the bedroom conversation. What are you doing? I just, this is an augmented reality one. Like, yeah, jump, just, look, just, watch, yeah, watch. Point Here we go. Look, yeah, you see, look, 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 it's Stony. <laughs> yeah. Or it's just, uh, it's just uh, someone singing. We're here for a good time. Not a long time. It's <laughs> pretty good. It's interesting. It just kind of shows how far how far advanced cannabis education already is compared to sex education. Because we, for I think we all grew up with sex education in the school. Yeah, I don't know what was being taught in the UK, Ollie. It sure wasn't augmented reality. <laughs> it's well, that's what I'm saying. It actually, we never did it, that. It was it was it, it, it was augmented in a way that it's like. It was completely erroneous. It was just like, <laughs> this is what sex is. And you're like, no, it's not. There, you sex know. Is, if you have sex, you will die. And that's basically <laughs> what this sex education was. So it was an augmented reality of sorts. Yeah, it wasn't perfected <laughs> in our day. <laughs> yeah, that's, I that's feel like sure. I didn't really get any sex ed. I, that's I, right. Like, thinking back, I cannot recall anything of value that I learned at school. Did you that. ever uh, have uh, a drug awareness week oh, in the, yeah. the, the fallout oh, years of, Every you know, for week, us, the Reagan yeah, uh, the era, the Reagan uh, era. <laughs> well, the you know, it, like it was everything that kind of came That's after true. that, yeah, right? Just like, say no. Yeah, was that, definitely exactly. something that I, I learned in high school, yes. or a lot not in high school, but in school. Uh, but like, it seemed like every other week it was drug awareness, but like sex sex education was like a week out of the health class, and everybody like giggled the entire time. Right. Yeah, I remember there was one in particular, and we I I only remember doing this once in school. It was yeah, drug awareness week. And they uh, they brought all the classes into the library, and they had this display set out with basically examples of recreational drugs, like illicit oh, yeah, drugs that, yeah, that yeah. you should just say no to. Yeah. And there was one display I just remember vividly. There was like three really crappy looking joints <laughs> sitting there, and it was like, "This is marijuana. This is a marijuana cigarette. This is a gate." And, uh, and we were all looking at them, and like half the kids were like, hmm, "How do we?" How can we steal those yeah, exactly. without anyone noticing? Me, How do I like guys, these bennies? These, yeah. uh, these, these joints here, they, they, can we switch these out? Because these ones look terrible. Look, I got these better ones. Can <laughs> yeah. I just put these in here? Because no. like, this would be more better an example. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet pre-rolls from the government. Yeah, 11-year-old Scott's looking at this objectively, being like, I feel like this is not having the intended message. That's here. right. Uh, An 11-year-old Scott was scarred forevermore by his lack of sex education. <laughs> And the amount of drugs that school just 
gave away for free. <laughs> Drug Awareness Week is over. It's time for Sex Awareness That's Week. That's right. Oh, God. This is a oh, condom. Uh, Stay away from this. Stay it. away from this thing. <laughs> Stay away from this thing. We're not even going to show you how to put it on, but here you go. <laughs> Look, it's a balloon animal. Yay! The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Ollie has an update about what's going on this afternoon. Okay, the I have an email entitled Cold Water Immersion Training. It yeah. comes from Captain Sam Kim of Joint Task Force North. Yeah. It says, Ollie, you guys won't be able to participate. Oh. The extreme cold weather warning is not helping the case. Jesse's just thrown a pen across the room. He is um, livid. Oh, no. You're more than welcome to come to the training site and conduct interviews. No. Uh, I thought that would be the answer. <laughs> no. Well, I, don't care about, I don't care about what they feel about it. They're trained to do this stuff. We are not. We're not. Oh. Sorry. Oh, come on, man. Now. We could always just go out and like and dig, just do it and dig then a hole in the ice us. ourselves. That's right. And then just yeah, be rescued by yeah. medivac let's as opposed to yeah. yeah let's for, do that for the folks listening at home no. who are not privy to viewership of what happens in the studio as it Son happens. Of a bee sting. The queen was almost just beheaded. Almost in beheaded. Jesse's fit of rage. There, she she made it through. She's and okay. God. You can confirm the queen is okay. I was gonna get. Out I of was work. close. Though. I was gonna get out of work early. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how I felt, I wouldn't go to the gym tonight. This I mean, was my whole yeah, day. He had all kinds of excuses. You, this was my whole day. You can still. No one is stopping you from still falling into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to do that. Yeah, but I mean, you know, with experts there and a diver, I mean, it's just better. And my taxes aren't paying to save you. That's right. So I don't want other people's tax dollars to go to things that they couldn't possibly disagree with. They could possibly disagree with. I mean, that wouldn't be a democracy, now, would it? No. Um, Ludicrous. Uh, it's definition of. Uh, that sucks. Sorry about that. That sucks. Oh. That's not a lot I can do. And you kept it like a secret until we got on air. You're like, well, you'll find out what the email says. It's just like, come on. I wanted to, I wanted to you see wanted to, You things. wanted to see... Yeah, like, reaction you wanted, was, yeah, yeah everything You wanted, wanted to see my yeah. crestfallen reaction yeah. Yeah. live and in person. Exactly. I Best it. way to see it. Yeah. Put it right. this way. I'm, I'm deprived of all the excitement of this afternoon. The, the, the emotional high of the day is now watching you get upset when I tell you it's not <laughs> that happening. That is not nice. <laughs> that is not a nice thing to do to a person. I will say my... Uh, my fingers for the zooming and zooming out on that camera are, are relieved that this is not happening. Oh, yeah? Would have been cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that's good for you. Yeah. yeah. Go jump in a lake, Scott. <laughs> Go jump in a lake. I wish With we had, the camera? I wish, we had, I wish we had soda by, by, by gob lined up. I want to jump in a lake. Oh. <laughs> well, you can line up some Kim Mitchell because, I mean, you might as well. Nah, we're going to play some Kelly soda. Clarkson instead. Okay, all right. Love so soft. Oh, really disappointed. Yeah, you are <laughs> really yeah. disappointed. I got he super is. excited about this, and I even I even joked to to my partner that I was going to die, and now nothing. You said all those things <laughs> last night that you really meant. Now you have to live up to them. You like assume, what? I like dying? Know. I don't know. It's like you had this whole conversation with Phoenix. Goodness only knows what promises and what what no, wonderful things no, you said. No. No promises were made. I just said, hey, listen. I promise I'll be the, if I make it through this, I'll be the best partner you could ever hope for. Now. Already, already doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> She's got low expectations. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell, man? That is harsh. <laughs> Very harsh. I would never impugn your ability to be a good partner to whoever it is you happen to be with this month. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Wheeler, Ollie Lecter with you. I am still enraged and disappointed about the fact that I don't get dunked in a lake today. You'll get over it. Many sure. people would want to see me suffer in that way, and I, I don't want to deprive them of that. Uh, a lot of people want to see me get my comeuppance. I don't want to deprive them of that. You're a true trooper. I am a trooper. You know, a man of the people. Speaking of trooper, here's some Beatles. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, because there are a few cruise lines out there. Uh, Cabin Radio's own Des Lorraine went on a Chris, uh, Chris Jericho cruise. Oh, right. Just yeah. a couple of months ago. Yeah. And I know that you can do a Backstreet Boys cruise. Or, sorry, not a Backstreet Boys cruise. You probably can at this point. But uh, a uh, New Kids on the Block cruise. I there guess, was a, a reality show about it, for God's sake. I guess NSYNC wouldn't do so well for a cruise. Oh, yeah. wow. You would. You are just so good at those. Uh, once in a while. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, and now the word is that you can go on a Norwegian cruise with Bon Jovi. Oh, wow. With Bon Jovi-themed excursions. Featuring the band okay. of, as special guests on board. So they probably put on a few shows. Yeah. There's autograph uh, sessions and things like that. You know, living on a prayer. 
or whatever. There's probably prayer services. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to ask you guys, like, who would you want to go on a cruise with? Which band would you want to go on a cruise with? Who would I want to go on a cruise with? Ollie's going to say someone prog rocky. So uh, white, white stripes. White stripes. <laughs> I would go on that cruise. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Love their music. Don't It'd really be, like their fan base. Hit an iceberg. What was that? A Nicky Thump? Uh, <laughs> stretch. Big stretch. Yeah, well, you know. Answer. Uh, <laughs> it'd be quiet. You know, Meg would keep to herself. <laughs> yeah, she'd just be surly and yeah. distant. Jack would be busy just Jack, collaborating Jack. with everybody else Absolutely. on the boat, making Absolutely. albums. Just like banging banging yeah. things on other things and being like, let's make this into a song. Yeah, you come to the end of the cruise and Jack White's released 15 new albums. Already. Great. <laughs> wow, that'd be awesome. Uh, Foo Fighters. That'd that would be, cool. be a fun cruise. I mean, we're not far away from that, I don't think. Not that they need the money, but I feel like the Foos would put on a really good party on a cruise ship. And I feel How like great of a cruise host would Dave Grohl be? He'd be amazing. Oh, my God. That'd be awesome. It'd be so fun. Cruise fighters. Cruise fighters? Yep. I'm all over that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Cruise fighters. Yeah. 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 Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yourself, Ollie? Well, I, 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 with, with discounting my first answer, you don't believe me? Uh, who... Who would I go? I was just thinking, like, Sir Paul McCartney. Um, he definitely doesn't need the money. No. Well, I didn't say I'd pay him. That's right. I'd just go on a cruise. I was assuming I'd get an invite. Oh, I see. You're just going to stow away on his <laughs> private yacht. No, and no, be like, I went on a Paul I'm McCartney going to cruise. Get an invite. How, oh, how, how many times do I have to spell this out? Paul is going to phone me up. Yeah. Be like, hey, Ollie. Sir Paul, please. No, to me, me and him, it's first names. Oh, uh, just Paulie. We, we both drop the honorifics. Uh, and <laughs> what, what honorifics do you have? Oi. That seems to be used <laughs> a lot before my name. Yep. Uh, yeah, we have a little chat, and he'd be like, hey, do you want to come on a cruise? I'd be like, yeah, I'd love to, Paul. Where are we going? He'd be like, uh, Northwest Passage. I'd be like, that's kind of boring, Paul. I mean, I've Is sort of seen boring? it. Yeah, I've, uh, seen, I've seen it. Been there, I've done seen that. It, whatever. Been dunked in the Arctic yeah. Ocean. And then we, we cruise up and down the Mother Kinta. It'd be great. Very nice. Get on Paul McCartney's cruise, and you're like, where's Ringo? Oh, I forgot to invite him. <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ringo's just waiting on the shore. Like, where is everyone? <laughs> yeah. Wrong continent, Ringo. Sorry, we should have told you. Yeah, we're actually this South American cruise. That's right. We we said Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. We we meant Rio. We used it as an inspiration, uh, Ringo, and we couldn't keep time either. Oh! <laughs> uh, Mike drop a 1960s uh, Ringo star. That's not nice. Uh, eh, he's he's a billionaire. Whatever. Um, I think I. You know what? I think I'd just go with like an ACDC tribute band cruise. It wouldn't even be a big ship. It would just be a a beer barge mm. out in the middle of the lake with an ACDC tribute band. Just listen to the same song for two weeks. Well, yeah. I mean, there's like 20 songs, but they're the same. <laughs> That'd be why, fun. Why would that be fun? I don't know. What, just cruising try- with ACDC? Yeah, cruising. No, cruising with an ACDC tribute band on a beer barge in the lake. I mean, I feel like... Yeah, oh, why okay, so you, so you don't like art. Is that what you're saying? You don't appreciate the art? <laughs> if we're not going to support art in this city by going to see ACDC tribute bands... For uh, on the lake, three hundred dollars. Then what are we doing here? They're just playing the cruise just for exposure. People, <laughs> people need yeah. to support the arts. You know, like, so to keep and you that happy, includes ACDC tribute bands. To keep you happy, what we need to do is we need to get an ACDC tribute band yeah. out on the lake today. That's right, and cut a hole in front of them, and, and they then... can provide the soundtrack <laughs> to you going through the ice. They could possibly go through the ice. Oh, they? You yeah, just that's send right. Them in. That's right. We'll just send them in. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> Um, I, you know what? I don't know. I think I would go with like, oof, that'd be tough, man. Mm. I, I mean, my, my favorite band growing up was Guns N' Roses. I sure as hell don't want to go to a cruise with them. No, I'd be uh, not, Meta- not Metallica. I Too think, loud. I, I actually think Foo Fighters is a great answer. Foo I think, Fighters, they, I yeah. think they'd be great. How can you top that? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think you can. Maybe Andrew WK, but he's not swimming in money anymore. He doesn't party as hard as he used That's to. That's right. Yeah. When it's time to party, we will always party a bit, is what he's what his songs <laughs> so now. We'll, we'll party a bit. We, we will always go. party in moderation. In moderation. Then we got to go. Moderation. 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 <laughs> Foo's Cruise. Uh, ah, much better. Like the podcast? Listen live. Mornings at the Cabin, 7 till 9 each weekday.